Hi everyone, in this video we will be discussing con, um, graphing of circle from standard form to um, general form. So let us define first what is a circle. A circle is a set of all points on a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point on a plane. So yung pag sinabing equidistant, ibig sabihin, same sila ng distance from the fixed point which is what we call the center. So, ibig sabihin guys, yung circle ay binubuo ng points or set of all points that is equidistant from a center. So, ang tawag doon ay radius. So, from the center to any point on the circle is what we call the radius. So, ibig sabihin na bubuo yung circle from the center, equidistant from the center to the points. So, kapag ka inano nyo yan guys, ibig sabihin, same sila ng um, distance or same sila ng sukat. And that is the radius. Okay? So, the standard form of a center of a circle whose center is at 0, 0 is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And center at hk is x minus h squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. And then the general form is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. Now, to understand these um, forms better, or equations better, let us have the first example. So, <clears throat> identify the radius and the general form of the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. Sketch the graph. Okay, so ang una nyo mal dapat malaman guys, kapag ka ang equation nyo ay naka-equate sa 0, ibig sabihin nun, naka-general form siya. Kapag ka naka-equate siya sa number, any number or any constant, ibig sabihin nun, naka-standard form siya. In this case, naka-equate siya sa 16, therefore, yan yung tinatawag nating standard form. So, standard form na binigay is x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. Okay? Kapag ka wala kayong nakitang um, naka-parenthesis tapos may number na ka-partner ni x, halimbawa ito, x minus 2. Yan. Pag wala kayong nakitang ganyan, guys, halimbawa ganyan, um, Ganyan. So, pag wala kayong nakitang number na naka-enclose sa parenthesis, nakasama nitong mga variables na x and y, ibig sabihin yan, guys, ang center niyan ay nasa origin or ang center niyan ay nasa 0, 0. Okay? Kapag ka solong x squared tsaka y squared lang yung nasa equation. Okay? Tapos, yung ibibigay na number dito sa equation, yung nasa kanan niya na uh, number is r squared kasi ang standard form is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So, ibig sabihin, ang r squared natin dito ay 16. So, ang magiging sagot natin sa radius or ang radius natin would be the square root. So, para matanggal tong square nito, square root nyo siya. So, ang sagot natin ay 4. Square root ang 16. So, ang kukunin nyo lang is the positive root. Kasi pa sinabi natin radius, distance yun. So, wala namang negative na distance. So, ang kukunin nyo lang is yung positive root. Pagka meron na kayong center, meron ng radius, pwede nyo nang i-graph yung circuit. So, ang center natin, 0, 0. So, ibig sabihin niya yung gitna. Andiyan siya. And then, 4 yung radius. So, ibig sabihin, 4 yung um, distance niya from the center to any point on the circle. So, ang gawin niyo na lang, apat na lang. Isa sa kanan, kaliwa, sa taas, tsaka sa baba. So, kanan na 4, dito yon Sa apat sa taas, apat din sa bab kaliwa, at apat din sa baba. So, yan yung radius na is equal to 4. So, radius is equal to 4. Ito yung center na 0, 0. So, pagka inano nyo siya, um, pwede nyo gamitan ng compass para mas accurate. So, masyado siyang makapal, guys. Medyo anahan lang natin. Umpis lang. Ayan. So, ayan. So, the answer is, or the graph would look like this. Okay? So, yan yung center na sa gitna. And then, um, ang radius niya ay 4. So, 4. Ang gawin nyo, guys, para mas madali nyo mag-graph, Yung apat na sides ang iyan nyo. So, 4 sa kanan, kaliwa, sa taas, sa sa baba. So, meron na tayong standard form, meron tayong center, meron radius. Sabi dito, um, identify the general form. So, ang gagawin nyo lang guys, pag sinabing general form, ibig sabihin na naka-equate sa 0. So, para ma-equate sa 0, from the standard form, na x squared plus y squared is equal to 16, balibag nyo lang to si 16. Siyempre, pag binalibag nyo, magiging negative 16, and then equate to 0. So, this is the standard, sorry, the general form. General form to guys. So, the general equation or general form of this circle is this one. x squared plus y squared minus 16 is equal to 0. 
Okay, let us have the second example. So, determine the general equation of the circle whose center is 3, negative 1 and whose graph contains the point negative 4, negative 1. Sketch the graph. So, we have 3, negative 1. Binigay na yung center niya na 3, negative 1. And then, may point daw na dinaanan ng circle which is negative 4, negative 1. So, yung center na to guys, ang points dyan would be called HK kasi obviously hindi naman siya 0, 0. Ibig sabihin ng HK, any point except 0, 0. Any point on the Cartesian plane except 0, 0. So, kapag ka HK, ang magiging standard form natin would be X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to R squared. Okay? So, pwede na natin um, isalpak dito yung H and then yung K. Kapag ka nagsasalpak kayo ng number sa H and K, may inverse siya because of the negative sign. So, ito, yung H na yan, magiging X minus 3. So, from positive 3, magiging negative 3 because of this minus sign. Okay? Plus, so Y, itong K na to, so negative 1 yan, minus negative 1 would be positive. Kaya yung minus 1 na yan, magiging plus 1 squared is equal to R squared. So, wala pa tayong R. So, hahanapin natin yung R. Ang paghanap ng R, pag may given na, na center at saka point, it's either sa graph or pwede rin namang um, itignan nyo yung graph or pwede rin namang kuhain nyo dun sa formula. Okay? So, para malaman nyo kung makukuha nyo ba sa graph, i-graph nyo muna. Try nyo siyang i-graph. So, i-graph ko muna tong center, 3, negative 1. So, 3, negative 1 is here. Okay? And then, graph ko yung point na dinaanan ng circle, which is negative 4, negative 1. So, negative 4, negative 1. Okay. Pag nakita nyo ganyan, na magkahilera lang sila, ibig sabihin, um, pwedeng hilerang nandito, pwedeng nakahilera dito, pwedeng dito, pataas, ibig sabihin, magkapantay. Pag magkapantay, guys, madali. Kasi kung ito yung center, dinaanan to, ibig sabihin, pwede nating bilangin na radius yan. So, ang radius nito would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, ibig sabihin, ang radius nito ay 7. Kasi kapantay niya lang. So, madali mo siyang mabibilang. So, pagka um, niride natin yung standard form dito, pwede natin ilagay na y plus 1 squared is equal to, since ang radius na nakuha natin is 7, by looking at the graph, so magiging 7 squared to, which is 49. So, ang magiging standard form natin would be 40 is equal to 49. So, ito na yung ating standard form. Okay? So, radius ay 7. Ibig sabihin, um, 7 din sa taas. So, count ako. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 7 sa baba. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, pwede natin i-graph yung circle. So, the final answer is this. Or the final graph. Okay? So, Katulad ng sinabi ko guys, pwede nyo kunin yung radius by just looking at the graph. So, pwede nyo bilangin pag given yung center and point. Okay? Pero may mga cases na hindi. Mamaya may example tayong ganun. Yung hindi pwedeng bilangin lang basta-basta yung radius. Okay? So, may standard form na tayo. Center, radius. So, kunin natin yung general form. So, expand natin to. This one would be x squared minus 6x plus 9. I-foil nyo kung gusto nyo. Plus y squared plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 49. So, arrange lang natin. Mauna si x squared. Sunod si y squared. Sunod si negative 6x. Sunod si 2y. And then, we have 9 plus 1. Okay? So, that is 10. And then, balibag nyo si 49 para ma-equate sa 0. So, magiging minus 49 is equal to 0. So, x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 2y 10 minus 49 is negative 39. So, is equal to 0. So, here is our general form. Okay? So, let's have example number 3. So, sketch the graph of 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 400 is equal to 0. Determine the general equation. So, actually, ito guys, naka-general equation na siya. Kasi 4x squared, naka-equate siya sa 0. 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 400 is equal to 0. Pero... Meron um, numerical coefficient yung x at saka yung y. Since circle naman to, always equal yan. A is equal to C. Palagi yan. Itong A, palaging equal sa C. Kung natatandaan nyo yung sa um, quadratic term ng circle, palaging equal yan. So, kailangan ma-eliminate yan or kailangan mawala yung numerical coefficient yan. So, what will you do? Since 4 to, i-divide ko lahat to sa 4. Lahat sila. 
So, magiging um, 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 400 equals 0 divided by 4. Para makancel to. Magiging um, x squared na lang at saka y squared. So, 4x squared divided by 4 is um, x squared. And then, 4y squared divided by 4 is y squared. And then, negative 400 divided by 4 is negative 100 equals 0. Okay? So, ito guys, general form na to. Kasi naka-equate siya sa 0. Actually, ito, general form na rin naman yan. Pero ito yung simplified form niya. Yung na-divide siya sa common term. O dyan sa 4. Okay? Tapos, um, gawin natin siyang standard form para makuha natin yung radius at saka yung center. So, lipat ko lang tong negative 100 sa kabila, magiging plus positive 100. Okay? So, ito na yung ating standard form. Now, by looking at the standard form, malalaman nyo na ang center niyan ay 0, 0, obviously. Kasi, guys, ang um, standard form ng HKI, yung katulad ng kanina natin, ayan, ito, ganito siya. Ganyan ang standard form ng HK. But since walang katabi yung X na naka-parenthesis at yung Y, malalaman nyo na 0, 0 siya. So, nasa gitna ang ating um, center or nasa origin. And then, ang radius natin is 10. Okay? So, syempre, R squared to. So, square root ng 100 is 10. So, may center na tayo, may radius, pwede nyo na siyang i-graph. So, center is 0, 0. Then, radius is 10. So, 10 sa taas. Since nasa 0 naman tayo, tigti 10 lang yan. Negative 10. Sa kaliwa. And then, sa uh, baba. Okay? So, ayan. So, here is our graph. Ayan. So, 10 ang radius nyan. And then, the center is at the origin 0, 0. And then, ito ay um, 10. Okay? Sige, let's have the fourth example. Sketch the graph of x minus 5 quantity squared plus y plus 3 quantity squared is equal to 25. Determine the general equation. So, obviously, guys, ang given dyan ay standard form kasi naka-equate siya sa number. Okay? So, standard form na yan, given na yan, which is x minus 5 quantity squared plus y plus 3 quantity squared is equal to 25. So, from looking, palaging makikita nyo ang center at saka ang radius sa, sa standard form. Okay, ulitin ko lang, makikita nyo ang center at ang radius sa standard form. So, ibig sabihin, makukuha ko yung center dito, i-inverse ko to, at saka ito. So, ito yung h, ito yung k. So, ito magiging positive 5, negative 3. Okay, kasi guys, kaya lang naman yan naging x minus 5 because of the um, equation na x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Kaya palagi yung tatandaan, kapag ka sinasalpak nyo tong center dito sa formula, i-inverse nyo yung sign. Ganun din kapag ka kinukuha nyo yung center from the standard form, i-inverse nyo rin yung sign. So itong minus 5 na to magiging positive 5, itong plus 3 na to magiging negative 3. Okay, so yan yung center. And then, ang radius natin is 5. So, square root ng 25. Kasi R squared yan. So, ang R squared natin is 25. So, square root nyan is 5. So, since may radius na tayo, tsaka center, pwede nyo na yung i-graph. So, center, 5, negative 3. So, 5, negative 3 is here. Okay. And then, radius natin ay 5. So, 5 sa kanan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 sa taas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 5, pakaliwa. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, 5 sa baba. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So, ito yung center. And then, the radius is 5 units. Okay? So, graph lang natin. Ayan. So, that would be the graph. Now, the general equation would be coming from the standard form. Expand nyo lang. So, x minus 5 squared plus y plus 3 squared is equal to 25. Yan yung standard form. So, to get the general equation or general form, so this one would be x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus y squared plus um, 6y plus 9 is equal to 25. So, arrange lang natin x squared minus plus y squared minus 10x plus sunod si 6y. And then, 25 plus 9 is... Um, 25 plus 9 is 34. And then, balibag nyo to dito, magiging minus 25 is equal to 0. Okay? So, 25 plus 9 is equal to 34 minus 25. 
So, parang na-cancel lang din yung 25. So, the final answer is x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 6y plus 9 is equal to 0. So, here is our general equation or general form of the circle. Okay, so ito yung graph. Ang importante dyan guys, center at radius para mag-graph nyo siya. Okay, let's have the fifth example. Determine the general equation of the circle whose center is 1, negative 2 and whose graph contains the point 4, negative 2. Okay, so may binigay na center, 1, negative 2. May binigay na point, which is 4, negative 2. So obviously, this one is HK, not 0, 0, not center at the origin. Okay, so ang gagamitin natin si X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to R squared. Okay? So, palitan ko na tong H nito. So, yung 1 na yan, magiging minus 1. Sinabi ko na yan kanina, guys. Inverse nyo yung sign. And then, itong negative na to would be positive 2 na kasi magiging minus negative 2. So, magiging positive siya. Okay? Squared. Is equal to... So, wala pa tayong R squared. Na, kung wala kayong R squared or R, pwede nyo kunin sa graph or pwede nyo gamitin tong formula na to. Okay? So, para malaman nyo kung pwede gamitin yung graph, graph nyo muna to. So, yung center, 1, negative 2. So, 1, negative 2 is here. And then, may point daw dun sa circle or dinaanan to ng circle, 4, negative 2. So, 4, negative 2. Ayan. So, ito yung center. Ito yung radius. Ibig sabihin, guys, magkahilera sila. Pag magkahilera, pwede nyo silang bilangin na. So, ang radius natin would be 1, 2, 3 units. So, ibig sabihin, from the center to the circle, any point on the circle, which is 4, negative 2, ay... 3 units. So, ibig sabihin, ang R ko dito ay 3. Okay? So, given na yung R na 3. Nakuha natin yun sa graph. Mamaya may example ako na anong gagawin nyo kung hindi siya pwedeng bilangin lang. Pwede nyong bilangin kapag ka magkahilera sila. Okay? Pero kung hindi, iba ang paraan na gagawin nyo. Gagamitin nyo yung distance formula. Okay? So, palitan ko na to. Magiging x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared. So, this one would be is equal to 9. Okay, kasi R squared or 3 squared is 9. So, ito na yung general, eh, sorry, standard form. Ayan. Okay, so from the standard form, makikita nyo yung center at saka radius. Okay, so let's have yung general form. Expand nyo lang yung standard form. So, this one would be x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared plus 4y plus 4 is equal to 9. So, arrange nyo lang x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 4y and then 1 plus 4 is 5. Balibag si 9, magiging minus 9 is equal to 0. So, final answer, x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 4y minus 4 is equal to 0. So, 5 minus 9 is negative 4. So, here is our general equation or general form. Okay? Diretso ko na yung graph, guys. I mean, i-completuhin ko na. So, 3 yung radius sa kanan, sa taas, 3 din. So, 1, 2, 3. Kaliwa, 1, 2, 3. Sa baba, 1, 2, 3. Kailangan pantay-pantay na tig-3 yan kasi radius yan. So, the graph would look like this. Okay? Sige, let's have the fourth example. Determine the general form of a circle whose graph passes through point negative 4, 1. So, may binigay na point negative 4, 1. And whose center is 1, negative 2. Parang yung kanina din pala to. So, pwede natin um, gamitin yung general equation. I mean, standard equation na x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Okay? So, ito yung center. Obviously, this one is at hk, not 0, 0. Kasi 1, negative 2 siya. So, pwede ko isalpak na yan dito. Magiging x minus 1, yan, squared plus y, this one would be plus 2. Okay, squared. So, wala pa tayong r squared. So, kunin muna natin. Tignan natin kung makukuha sa graph or hindi. Okay? So, graph ko muna yung center na 1, negative 2 here. Okay? And then, point na negative 4, 1. Ayan. Okay. Kapag ganyan, guys, obviously, hindi sila magkahilera. Like, magkahilera na nandito. O kaya hilera sa ka kanan. O kaya sa taas. O kaya sa pababa. Hindi sila pantay. So, pag hindi pantay, hindi nyo basta-basta pwedeng bilangin lang yung units. So, ito yung center, ito yung dinaanan ng point, okay? Or dinaanan na point ng circle. So, kapag ka ganyan, salpak nyo lang yung x and y dito sa formula. 
Okay, para makuha niyo yung R. So, kung ito yung HK, ito yung XY natin yung sa point. So, papalitan ko lang yan. So, yung X, palitan ko ng negative 4. Hindi nyo i-inverse ang sign. I-inverse nyo lang yung sign dito sa H at saka sa K. Kasi na iba siya because of the equation. Kasi may minus siya. Because of the formula. Okay? So, yung X na yan, negative 4 pa rin yan. Okay? Minus 1, salpak nyo lang. Plus, so itong Y na to would be 1. So, 1 plus 2 squared is equal to R squared. Okay? So, negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5 squared plus 1 plus 2 is 3 squared is equal to R squared. So, negative 5 squared is 25 plus 3 squared is 9 is equal to R squared. So, 25 plus 9 is 34 is equal to R squared. So, para makuha yung radius, square root nyo yan. Okay? So, square root nyan ay, kunin natin yung ating um, calculator. Ayan. Sorry. Ayan, kunin natin yung ating calculator. So, we will have um, square root of 34. Ayan, kunin natin decimal guys. So, 5.8. 5.8. So, roughly 6 siya. Okay, pero 5.8 na lang. So, ang radius natin is 5.8 kasi square root ng 34. So, ibig sabihin nito guys, from the center here, pwede kong i-graph yung radius niya. So, 5.8 sa kanan. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, before ako mag-6, medyo malapit na sa 6. So, 5.8, medyo dito siya. Okay? So, 5.8 sa taas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.8. Medyo dito. And then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.8 something here. Okay, malapit na sa 6. Pang 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.8. Ayan. And then, you get compass or something na bilog. Para mag-graph nyo siya ng maayos. Ayan. Ayun, no? So, dumaan siya dun dito sa point na to. Okay? So, hindi naman perfect yung mga pinag ano, natin. So, roughly, guys, dadaan siya dito sa point na to, which is negative 4, 1. Okay? And then, ang center natin ay 1, negative 2. Kapag ka hindi magkahilera, ulitin ko lang, guys. Hindi nyo pwedeng bilangin. Unlike dun sa last example natin, magkahilera yung point na binigay. 1, negative 2, ito yung center. And then, 4, negative 2, ito. So, obviously, magkahilera sila or magbantay sila. Kaya nakuha natin siya by just counting. Pagka ganito, hindi siya makukuha ng counting, you use the um, standard equation. Okay? So, may, yan, may graph na tayo, may center, may radius. So, kunin natin yung standard form. Ang standard form ay ito. Papalitan na lang natin yung R dito. So, magiging x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared. So, is equal to yung r squared natin ay ito, yung nakuha natin, 34. So, ito yung ating standard form. Okay? General equation or general form. So, expand lang yan. x squared minus 2x plus 1. Expand din to. So, y squared plus 4y plus 4 equals 34. So, x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 4y and then, 4 plus 1 is 5. So, plus 5 minus 34 is equal to 0. Okay? So, yung positive 5 minus 34, that is negative 29. So, ang final answer natin is x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 4y minus 29 is equal to 0. So, here is our, sorry, general form or general equation of this circuit. Okay, let's have the... Second, I mean, seventh example. Sketch the graph of y squared plus quantity of y minus 4 squared is equal to 49. Determine the general equation. So, obviously, guys, ang binigay dyan ay standard form kasi naka-equate siya dun sa radius squared. So, ang ating standard form na given is this one. So, ito yung r squared natin, di ba? So, by looking at the standard form, makukuha nyo yung center. So, ang center natin dito eto may binigay na y or um, k. K yung katabi niya ni x ni y, di ba? So, may binigay na k pero walang katabi si x. So, ibig sabihin, 0 yung ating x, okay? Or 0 yung ating h kasi walang katabi si x na number. And then, ito, sa standard form ito, merong negative 4, so 0, 4. Okay? So, yun ang center natin. And then, ang radius natin is 7 kasi square root of 49. So, ito yung h, ito yung k. Okay, h natin ay 0 kasi guys, obviously, x squared lang. So, ibig sabihin 0. Pero, hk pa rin to. Hindi pa rin yan 0, 0. 
kasi merong 4. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, not in the origin pa rin ang ating center. So, may radius, may center, pwede nang i-graph. Okay? So, 0, 4 would be here. Okay? And then, 7 na radius. So, 7 na movement sa kanan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, so syempre, nandito siya sa 7 na to. 7 sa kaliwa. Ayan. So, 7 sa taas. So, 4 to plus 7 would be 11. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then, sa baba, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? So, ang center natin ay andito. And then, ang radius natin na 7. Square root of 49. And then, graph na natin yan. Ayan. So, the graph would look like this. Okay? And then, may standard form na. So, general form na lang. I-expand lang yan. So, x squared plus expanded form nito would be y squared minus 8y plus 16. Okay? So, negative 4 squared is 16. It's equal to 49. So, arrange lang x squared plus y squared. And then, wala tayong x. So, ito ng y. So, minus 8y. And then, balibag to magiging 16 minus 49. And then, 16 minus 49 is equal to negative 33. Is equal to 0. So, here is our general form or general equation. Okay? Let's have the last example. Determine the general equation of the circle whose center is 0, 5 and radius is 4. Okay? So, ang center binigay din siya, 0, 5. And then, ang radius ay 4. Okay? So, graph nyo na kagad to. So, graph na natin, 0, 5. Nandiyan siya. Okay, radius is 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Sa kanan muna. Sige, sa kanan muna tayo. 4. And then, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, sa baba, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So, ito yung center. Ito yung radius na 4. Pwede na natin niyang bilugan. So, ayan ang graph. Okay? So, obviously, this one is not 0, 0. So, HK yan. So, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin ko would be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared para sa standard form. Okay? So, ang x natin, wala tayong h, so magiging x squared lang to. Okay? Plus, kung ang wala nyo ay k, ibig sabihin guys, y squared lang to. Okay? So, ganun lang. Kung sinong wala, ibig sabihin, walang, kung walang h, ibig sabihin x squared. Kung walang k, kung 0 ang k, y squared lang. So, in this case, ang h natin ay 0. So, ibig sabihin, x squared lang to. Parang yung example natin kanina. Okay? Plus, so y, itong k na 5 magiging minus 5 na squared is equal to, so yung r squared is 4 squared or 16. So, x squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 16. So, ito yung ating standard form. Okay? General form, expand lang yan. So, x squared plus y squared minus 10y plus 25 is equal to 16. Okay? So, arrange lang. Actually, naka-arrange na siya. So, balibag lang natin to 16. Magiging x squared plus y squared minus 10y plus... So, 25 minus 16 is 9. Positive 9 is equal to 0. So, this is our general form. Okay? Part 2 of this video will be um, general form naman ang given to standard. So, kasi itong video na to guys, standard to general or parts of the circle to general form. Okay? So, that's it for the first part of this lesson.